Hi, this video is on how to use the report features in Moodle to see if your students have accomplished the activities uh, that you assigned them. There have been several teachers that have asked how can they see if the students watch the videos, read the articles. Well, honestly, you can't totally. Uh, what you can do is you can see whether they access them at all, but you don't necessarily know how long they were in a specific activity. The only one that does that is the lesson module you can make sure they spent so much time in before doing something new. But let's look at the reports. Basically, if you come into Moodle and you're in a Moodle class, you can go on the left-hand side under the Admin Teacher menu and go to Reports. When I click on Reports, this screen may look slightly daunting, um, but there's only a couple things that you need to change in order to see specifically what you're looking for. Okay, so the top will give me uh, where it says choose summary. That section will let me to see if any students have access to specific activity. Uh, it doesn't tell me necessarily uh, as much information as the next one I'm going to show you, but I'm going to show you that one first. So, for instance, I have an activity in my class that I recently assigned my students to read, and you can see these are broken up by section, and it was whether they read this understanding memory article. Now by default, it's looking in my class with all my groups, all my students, and it's only looking for today. So I'm going to back this up because I assigned it after Christmas. So I'm going to go ahead and just say from January 1st to January 18th, I want to see who went to that article and read it. And it immediately comes up and it, I can see um, how many times that day they went to that article and what day they went to it. And you can see this was assigned on um, January 18th and it says that how many times each one of my students um, went to that article. Now I can also use this to um, as well as seeing those specific items I could also do use this to say only a specific student and then I could pick all activities so I would be able to see during that time if I was looking to see what Mr. Lindsay did and hit the summary report I know that in that window he um, did these items and that's what he did those are the activities that he did during that time uh, and it does not show uh, accessing resources so I'm going to go back to reports and show you the original screen the other way to do it is to say for a specific date I can go, go and just look for that day and it'll show me everything the students did that day and if I wanted to I could just say only my students so I don't show up on there um, or a specific group and we didn't do any Moodle activities today so let me go back to last week when they were doing that stuff and get the log there there we go so they were had specific activities they were assigned that day and I can go on that that day I'm looking at January 8th I'm only looking at my orange one group and I'm and I can see all the things that the student did that day now you can see it's organized by access time what time they they did each of those things and I could just as easily just like I did before with the one activity I could pick a specific activity and say I assign something specific like reading this article and I can see what time each of those students went in and accessed that article so as they came in and they were assigned to do it I can see that you know Mr. King was the first one in the class then Mr. Nakis got on and then there's Jonathan Phillips and Mr. Nakis came back to it actually three different times and this is the activity during that block for just orange one and then if I wanted to see orange two I can see which orange two two students did it so I can see which ones did or did not read this article um, when they were assigned uh, for a specific day so that's the great thing about the reports feature if you play with a little bit you'll be able to see that you can drill down um, very far if you if you're in class for instance and you just want to see what's going on with your students while they're doing a Moodle activity I can click there and this will show and can continually update itself and you can see right now I don't have students within the last hour it's just been me doing it but it will continually show what activities are going on 
during, throughout the class period as students do their, do their um, Moodle assignment. So that's one other way that you can look at it with the live log uh, as well. But I encourage you to play with some of these reports if you're concerned about whether students are doing specified activities and if you're concerned about a specific student, you can go and just say, well, you know what, on all days, I want to know what, um, let's see, I'll pick something else, Mr. King was doing on all those days. And now it's going to show in reverse order every single time that particular student did something. Okay, he accessed, this is what we're doing the other day, he got into class, the time before that he made sure his PowerPoint was uploaded, he uploaded his PowerPoint again, he did the self-assessment that we assigned in class, and I can go back with him and see every single time he's done something in my course, and look how many pages there are. It goes all the way back here to when we started the class back in October 23rd. All these 17 pages of reports are on one student and their access, and it shows exactly what time they went into each thing. So the report feature really is a nice way to check and make sure either all your students or specific students are getting to the information that you want them to get to. You can see Mr. King's been in the class 1,634 times he's done different things in this middle class.